Tuesday, February 22nd, 2022. Let's do two updates in one day. Why not? Uh, we're out here in the front garden. We have this uh, Romanesco type of cauliflower. This is called a Punto Verde. Normally it grows probably twice the size, but very happy to get a good sized Romanesco type cauliflower nonetheless. And then the rest of our garden, we have uh, a mix of things. Uh, we're always growing some type of brassicas, which is broccoli or asparagus. So you'll see them in various stages there and there. And uh, we have some more cereal rye out here, some snapdragons. Those are orange color ones. Very interested to see how they look. Uh, coming this way, we have different succession sowings of um, Gailan, so we have Gailan and some fava beans. These are grown for the cover crop. And we got more brassicas here. This is another one. Um, it's either broccoli or asparagus. This is rapini. And then we have uh, garlic over there. And the garlic bed is protected by uh, rose thorns and also the fire thorn. We made a, a surround. And that's inspired by the Maasai tribe. They, ha they ha make these things called bomas to keep out uh, lions. So we keep the skunks out from digging up our garlic. And then there's this patch here of peas. They're shelling peas. So we're going to take a closer look at them later. Uh, over this way, we have more gailan over there. And then this is, a, this is early jade gailan that I didn't get around to eating. Now they look very interesting. So we'll harvest these and call it a delicacy tonight, even though actually it's because we didn't get around to eating them. Let's see here, we got shelling peas over here. So these are the shelling peas. And um, yeah, hoping to never have to buy frozen peas again. So there's the shelling peas and the rain's coming down. That's nice. This is a Genoa lemon. Um, this is one that I got because I wanted to make a more authentic Peruvian uh, uh, ceviche and the Genoa lemon is one of the lemons they use. They use a different type of lime called uh, limon saltillo and I couldn't find it. This is the closest one. And this lemon uh, plant is inspired by this Peruvian corn here. This is uh, Cayuyu tupai. It makes these large corn that we uh, turn into hominy and you can put that in a Peruvian ceviche. Let's see what else. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. We have uh, more growing areas. This is more of a wild flower area. They reseed themselves. We got a volunteer, um, what's it call it? A volunteer artichoke. And then over here we have some strawberries and uh, sunflowers. We got a raspberry over there. And I want to show you where we grow our potatoes. It's a really good place for growing them. We get good sized potatoes and that's this spot right here. So we dug out some potatoes the other day and we planted more in here. And let me show you those ones over that we've collected. Let's, let's go to the resort garden here where we are also growing more things. Um, our blood oranges are up that way and then we have uh, this growing area that was made for the peppers. This liver gets a good amount of sun and these are the peppers that I didn't show. These are the uh, plebano peppers and then more of the bell pepper. That's that Yulo Wonder bell pepper. And then here uh, we're trying to see if we can grow garlic. This is also nice and sunny especially when the sun comes over top during the summer and we have some chestnut garlic that I put in yesterday and then let's end this uh, garden update with uh, showing you the magic mollies that we harvested from that growing area so there they are and one thing about growing potatoes is that uh, we're always cycling in some potato that has chitted so that's another way of saying they sprouted we plant them and uh, when they sync up with the weather or the with the season we get these nice large ones and when we don't we get seed potatoes and we'll put these back in and then eventually we'll get a harvest that's big like this so that's uh our update um pretty much the rest of our 
garden we have the in the backyard we have the other side that we didn't show which is that, that corner over there so um that's that's it today if you're curious about those pumpkins uh these are my neighbors uh halloween decorations and we're we have them here for composting or feeding to our pets so we have quite a few pumpkins for that purpose all right that's gonna be it for today thanks for visiting again see you in the next video